question afterwards formulated in the well-known saying that the new testament lies hidden in the old and the old testament is first made clear in the new what we need now to observe however is that to ignatius the new testament was not a different book from the old testament but part of the one body of scripture with it an accretion so to speak which had grown upon it this is the testimony of all the early witnesses even those which speak for the distinctly jewish christian church for example that curious jewish christian writing in the new testament of the 12 patriarchs benai 11 tells us under the cover of an ex post facto prophecy that the work and the word of paul i.e confessedly the book of acts and paul's epistles shall be written in the holy books i.e as it understood by all made a part of the extant bible so even in the talmud in a scene intended to ridicule a bishop of the first century he is represented as finding galatians by sinking himself deeper into the same book which contained the law of moses uh, the babel uh, shabbat 168 a and b the details cannot be entered into here let it suffice to say that from the evidence of the fragments which alone have been preserved to us of the writings of christians that very early time it appeared that from the beginning of the second century and that is from the end of the apostolic age a collection ignatius to clement of new books ignatius called the gospel and apostles ignatius of martian was already a part of the oracles of god polycarp papius polycarp papius Pap papius or papius second clement or scriptures two timothy one timothy two peter barnabas polycarp two clement or the holy books or bible in other words uh, all these writers ignatius uh, martian the heretic polycarp papius two clement all had an understanding of a canon by the use of these words holy books the scriptures oracles of god etc that that was me not bb warfield the number of books says warfield included in this added body of the new testament books at the beginning of the second century cannot be satisfactorily determined by the evidence of these fragments alone the section of it called the gospel included gospels written by the apostles and their companions justin which beyond legitimate questions were our four gospels now received the section called the apostles contained the books of acts uh the test 12 p-a-t-t -T, whatever that means the epistles of paul john peter and james the evidence from various quarters is indeed enough to show that the collection in general use contained all the books which we at present receive with the possible exception of jude two and three john philemon it is more natural to suppose that the failure of very early evidence for these brief booklets is due to their insignificant insignificant size rather to their non-acceptance he says and it is more natural suppose that the failure of very early evidence for these brief booklets is due to their insignificant size rather than the to their non-acceptance it is to be borne in mind however that the extent of the collection may have and indeed is historically shown actually to have varied in different localities the bible was circulated only in hand copies slowly and painfully made and incomplete copies obtained say at ephesus ad 68 would be likely to remain for many years the bible of the church to which it was conveyed and might indeed become the parent of other copies incomplete like itself and thus the means of providing a whole district with incomplete bibles thus when we inquire after the history of the new testament canon we need to distinguish such questions as these when was the new testament canon completed when did any one church acquire a completed canon when did the completed canon the complete bible obtain universal circulation and acceptance on what ground and evidence did the churches with incomplete bibles accept the remaining books when they were made known to them the canon of the new testament was completed when the last authoritative book was given to any church by the apostle and that was when john wrote the Ap Ap the apocalypse about ad 98 whether the church of ephesus however had completed canon when it received the uh, apocalypse or not would depend on whether there was an epistle say that of jude which had not yet reached it with authenticating proof of its apostolicity there is room for historical investigation here certainly the whole canon was not universally received by the churches till somewhat later the latin church of the second and third centuries did not quite know what to do with the epistle to hebrews the syriac churches for some centuries may have lacked the lesser of catholic epistles of revelation 
But from the time of Irenaeus down, the church at large had the whole canon as we now possess it. And though a section of the church may not yet have been satisfied of the apostolicity of a certain book or of a certain books, and though afterwards doubts may have arisen in sections of the church as to the apostolicity of certain books, e.g. Revelation, yet in no case was it more than a respectable minority of the church which was slow in receiving or which came afterwards to doubt the credentials of any one, any of the books than then as now constituted the canon and new testament sorry yet in no case was it more than a respectable minority of the church which was slow in receiving or which came afterwards to doubt the credentials of any of the books that then as now constituted the canon of the new testament accepted by the church at large and in every case the principle on which a book was accepted or doubts against it laid aside was the historical tradition of apostolicity let it however be clearly understood that it was not exactly apostolic authorship which the estimation of the early churches constituted a book or portion of the canon apostolic authorship was indeed early confounded with canosity it was doubt it was doubt as to the apostolic authorship of hebrews in the west of james and jude apparently which underlay the slowness of the inclusion of these books in the canon of certain churches but from the beginning it was not so the principle of canonicity was not apostolic authority uh, authorship but imposition by the apostles as law hence tertullian's name for the canons is instrumentum and he speaks of the old and new instrumentum and we would of the old and new testament that the apostles so imposed the Old Testament on the churches which they founded as the instrumentum or law and canon can be denied by none. And imposing new books on the same churches by the same apostolic authority, they did not confine themselves to books of their own composition. Is the gospel according to Luke, a man who was not an apostle, which Paul parallels in 1 Timothy 5, 18, with Deuteronomy as equal to scripture with it, and in the first extant quotation of a New Testament book of scripture, the Gospels, which constitute the first division of the new books, the Gospels and the Apostles, Justin tells us were written by the Apostles and their companions. The authority of the Apostles, as by divine appointment, founders of the Church, was embodied in whatever books they imposed on the Church as law, not merely in those they themselves had written. The early Churches, in short, received as we received into the New Testament all the books historically evinced to them, as given by the Apostles of the Churches as their code, of law and we must not mistaken the historical evidences of, of the slow circulation and authentication of these books over the widely extended church evidence of slowness of the canonization of these books by the authority or taste of the church itself so you i know why like, reading it out is a bit tedious but you can go and read it yourself on www.bibleresearcher.com the formation of the canon of the new testament bb warfield 1892 from a scholar that uh, i greatly respect i'm going to make a couple of more videos now i'm going to do a couple of videos on scripture and then i'm going to make a a, a bible uh, do a bible study on scripture if you want to stick around i'm going to get a drink of water and i'll see you later on god bless you